This is the Cambridge Key English Test. Paper 2. Listening. Test number 3. There are five parts to the test. Parts 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About 30. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is 30. So, there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question 1. One. Which boy is Peter? You've got a lot of photographs of your family. Who's this one of? They're my cousins. So which one is Peter? The one you're always talking about. This one here? That's right. He's standing in the middle because the other two weren't speaking to each other that day. <laughs> Now listen again. You've got a lot of photographs of your family. Who's this one of? They're my cousins. So which one is Peter, the one you're always talking about? This one here? That's right. He's standing in the middle because the other two weren't speaking to each other that day. <laughs> Two. Which day will they go to the cinema? I'd love to see that film about the boy who learns to fly. I think I'll go on Thursday. Do you want to come too? I can't that night. I'm going to play tennis with Dave. How about Tuesday? Or if not, Wednesday? Tuesday night is fine. I can't on Wednesday. I'll see you outside the cinema at seven, then. OK. Now listen again. I'd love to see that film about the boy who learns to fly. I think I'll go on Thursday. Do you want to come, too? I can't that night. I'm going to play tennis with Dave. How about Tuesday? Or if not... Wednesday. Tuesday night is fine. I can't on Wednesday. I'll see you outside the cinema at seven then. OK. Three. What are they going to do on Saturday? Come to the beach on Saturday. I'd like to, but I must finish some work for the history lesson on Monday. Haven't you heard? There are no classes on Monday because of the football match. Oh, great! I'll go with you then. My next history lesson isn't until Friday. Now listen again. Come to the beach on Saturday. I'd like to, but I must finish some work for the history lesson on Monday. Haven't you heard? There are no classes on Monday because of the football match. Oh, great! I'll go with you then. My next history lesson isn't until Friday. Four. Where does Paul live? I'm going to Paul's house to watch a video. He's living in our street now. In the house that was for sale, number 32? The one next to it. 
33. And Kevin from school is coming to live here too, at number 31. All your friends in the same street. I'll never see you. Now listen again. I'm going to Paul's house to watch a video. He's living in our street now. In the house that was for sale, number 32. The one next to it, 33. And Kevin from school is coming to live here too, at number 31. All your friends in the same street. I'll never see you. Five. Where are they going to put the computer? Can I have the new computer in my bedroom, Mum? It's for all the family to use, so we really need it downstairs. What about putting it in the kitchen? Oh, it gets very hot in there. The living room is nicer. Well, it's noisy when the television is on, but we can try it there. Now listen again. Can I have the new computer in my bedroom, Mum? It's for all the family to use, so we really need it downstairs. What about putting it in the kitchen? Oh, it gets very hot in there. The living room is nicer. Well, it's noisy when the television is on, but we can try it there. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Janet talking to her friend about a party. What did each person wear? For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Sue. How are you feeling? A bit better, thanks, Janet. Tell me about Emma's birthday party at the weekend. What did you wear? My long skirt, as usual. <laughs> Emma looked great. One of her presents was a sweater with gold flowers on the front, and she wore that. I suppose Mike was there in that suit he always wears. He was in jeans, but they were black, and he looked great. Was he with Michelle? She wanted to wear my white jacket, but it was too small. She had on a blue Chinese dress, and Rachel was wearing blue too. I know, the blouse with the silver buttons. I've seen her in it before. It looks lovely with her silver shoes. Jason came straight from work, so he'd still got on that T-shirt he wears at the restaurant. <laughs> Even in winter he never wears a sweater. Well, the girls all had nice clothes anyway. Let's hope I can come to the next party. Now listen again. Hi, Sue. How are you feeling? A bit better, thanks, Janet. Tell me about Emma's birthday party at the weekend. What did you wear? My long skirt, as usual. <laughs> Emma looked great. One of her presents was a sweater with gold flowers on the front, and she wore that. I suppose Mike was there in that suit he always wears. He was in jeans, but they were black, and he looked great. Was he with Michelle? She wanted to wear my white jacket, but it was too small. She had on a blue Chinese dress, and Rachel was wearing blue too. I know, the blouse with the silver buttons. I've seen her in it before. It looks lovely with her silver shoes. Jason came straight from work, so he'd still got on that T-shirt he wears at the restaurant. <laughs> Even in winter he never wears a sweater. Well, the girls all had nice clothes anyway. Let's hope I can come to the next party. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Zach talking to Maria about his sports bag. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice.
Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Hi, Zach. This is Maria. I got a message about your sports bag, but I didn't understand it. Oh, thanks for phoning, Maria. I'm still in hospital, so can you get my sports bag from school? It's blue, not black and white like my school bag. OK. What size is it? It's quite large, and it's a good bag. I only bought it a few weeks ago, but it needs a wash. Where is it? Well, I had it on the sports field with me, but Tim took it to the classroom after my accident. I left it there when they brought me to hospital. Is there anything inside it? Only my school uniform. I'm wearing my watch, and I never carry money in it. OK. Shall I bring it to the hospital after school? I'm going home this afternoon. Can you take it there this evening? I'll need it for tomorrow morning. Sure. How did you hurt yourself anyway? <laughs> it was after football. We were running back to the changing rooms when I fell. Oh, dear. Now listen again. Hi, Zach. This is Maria. I got a message about your sports bag. But I didn't understand it. Oh, thanks for phoning, Maria. I'm still in hospital, so can you get my sports bag from school? It's blue, not black and white like my school bag. OK. What size is it? It's quite large, and it's a good bag. I only bought it a few weeks ago, but it needs a wash. Where is it? Well, I had it on the sports field with me, but Tim took it to the classroom after my accident. I left it there when they brought me to hospital. Is there anything inside it? Only my school uniform. I'm wearing my watch, and I never carry money in it. OK. Shall I bring it to the hospital after school? I'm going home this afternoon. Can you take it there this evening? I'll need it for tomorrow morning. Sure. How did you hurt yourself anyway? <laughs> It was after football. We were running back to the changing rooms when I fell. Oh, dear. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a man asking for some information about a swimming pool. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello. I'd like some information, please. Is the swimming pool open every day? Not on Monday, I'm afraid. I like to swim before breakfast. Um, what time do you open? We open the doors at 6 o'clock for the first swim of the day. The early morning swim, we call it. That's the best time to come because after seven it gets very busy. I see. And don't come between 9.30 and 12.30, because schools use the pool then. It's closed to everyone else. OK. Do you have lessons? I want to learn to swim better. Yes, every afternoon. It's £7.50 a lesson, or £70 if you pay for ten. OK. When does the next course begin? Let me see. It's on the 9th of March. Would you like to start then? Yes, please. What's the teacher's name? It's Roy Fowler. That's F-O-W-L-E-R. He's an excellent teacher. Well, thank you very much. My name's Duncan. Now listen again. Hello. I'd like some information, please. 
Is the swimming pool open every day? Not on Monday, I'm afraid. I like to swim before breakfast. Um, what time do you open? We open the doors at six o'clock for the first swim of the day. The early morning swim, we call it. That's the best time to come, because after seven it gets very busy. I see. And don't come between 9.30 and 12.30, because schools use the pool then. It's closed to everyone else. OK. Do you have lessons? I want to learn to swim better. Yes, every afternoon. It's £7.50 a lesson, or £70 if you pay for ten. OK. When does the next course begin? Let me see. It's on the 9th of March. Would you like to start then? Yes, please. What's the teacher's name? It's Roy Fowler. That's F-O-W-L-E-R. He's an excellent teacher. Well, thank you very much. My name is Duncan. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about free cinema tickets. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Here is some good news. We have some free cinema tickets for you. They usually cost five pounds. They are for a film called The Elephant Doctor. It's about a man who works in a zoo and looks after the animals when they aren't well. It's a great film for all the family. All you have to do to get your free tickets is send your name and address on a postcard to Radio South West in Bristol. The address is 27 Argyle Road. That's A R G Y L L. Send your postcard soon. Make sure it arrives before next Saturday. That's the 30th of July. All the postcards will go into a bag and we will choose the 25 winners then. We have 100 tickets to give away, but I'm afraid we can only give four tickets to each family because lots of people will want them. And we will send everybody who writes to us a book. This is about the film and has pictures of the actors and the animals in it. So, send us that postcard now. Now listen again. Here is some good news. We have some free cinema tickets for you. They usually cost five pounds. They are for a film called The Elephant Doctor. It's about a man who works in a zoo and looks after the animals when they aren't well. It's a great film for all the family. All you have to do to get your free tickets is send your name and address on a postcard to Radio South West in Bristol. The address is 27 Argyle Road. That's A R G Y L L. Send your postcard soon. Make sure it arrives before next Saturday. That's the 30th of July. All the postcards will go into a bag, and we will choose the 25 winners then. We have 100 tickets to give away, but I'm afraid we can only give four tickets to each family, because lots of people will want them. And we will send everybody who writes to us a book. This is about the film, and has pictures of the actors and the animals in it. So. Send us that postcard now. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.